Welcome back to Creative Tian Channel. Today we have part two of the machine knitted cardigan. Last week we knit all the pieces and today we will sew them together and add the trimming. So I have the back piece in the center. That's the one with a little triangle on the top. And I sew up the sleeves. And the tricky part is the edge here. Because according to our design, the back piece has an extra 10 stitches that's the underarm part on the side. And for the sleeve, I have five on each side. So when you sew it up, we sew up the five stitches first. And then we have another five stitches here that will connect to the five stitches on the back piece. So that's just a little bit tricky part you want to pay attention. And then we can sew up here and you will be the same with the right side. You can see it better here. This is the right side and uh, the sleeve has only five stitches, but for the back piece it's 10 stitches. So we'll stop at the five stitches. And it's a good idea to use more clips so it's easier to see. And then we'll match up this part and cut piece of yarn with a yarn needle, thread it. I'm going to go from here up and then continue this part this way, like that. So I make sure the corner match in the corner and just start sewing. So I should leave the first five stitches and start with the sixth stitch. And you can always do the double for the first and the last stitch so it's more secure. And I'm just going to go through both, like uh, creating a loop and try to be as even as possible. That's after kneading up the back. Now we'll continue kneading the front. That's the two front pieces. And we'll go from top down to the bottom. And we'll sew up the five stitches here, connecting to the back piece. That's the five stitches. And then continue sew up the sleeves, like that and same on this side. Finally, we finish all the sewing. It's not perfect, but the sweater is pretty forgiving. Next, we have to finish up with ribbing. You can also do crocheting along all the edges. I think ribbon will look nicer. I'm going to use my brother 260 bulky knitting machine with a ribber for the ribbon. I prefer the bulky machine because it's easier to manipulate. The standard gauge is so small in between stitches, so it's a little bit harder when you are getting older. Here is a swatch. I have 12 stitches on the top and 11 stitches below and that's about three inches. And I like to have a thicker band on both sides in the center because I feel this is a little bit small for me. And I'm going to do it this direction instead of this way so I can knead a very long piece. It's harder to knead it this way because you have to knead it section by section and then sew them up. But that's also your choice and the design choice. So I will find out the approximate length, the 13 inches to the top here, and continue going. It's about 26 inches and times two. So you'll be about 52 inches for the whole thing if I want to do it continuously. 
And depends on your design. I think I'm going to have the front center piece all the way to the bottom. So I will do the ribbon for the bottom first. So I know how long will this be. So let me measure the total width. It's about 18 inches wide. So 18 inches times two, 36 inches. That's the length I want. So the next question is, do I want to have ribbon running this way or this way? I think I will stick with this way so I can make a long piece. You can do it in sections. It's not that hard because it's only one in the back and two pieces in the front. So you can have one nine inch section and go down a few inches, nine inch section. And in the back, it will be 18 inches and then a few inches down. But since I'm going to do the vertical line for the front center, I might as well continue that pattern. So it will be like that. And I have to figure out how many inches I want. This sample is about three inches and it looks fine for me. So I will do that and cast down 12 stitches on the top bed and 11 stitches in the bottom and then need for 36 inches. And the third one is uh, sleeve. For the sleeves, I like to do it this way. It seems more natural. I have around seven inches. So the total will be 14 inches for the circle. And then we need two of them. Based on this sample, I have 12 stitches. So one inch is about four stitches on the top bed. So if I want the 14 inches times four, it will be 56 stitches to cast on every other stitch on the knitter. And this sample has 20 rows. I will keep it 20 rows. I think it will be fine. Now let's go back to our knitting machine. You can always refer to the instruction manual for ribbon. I'm going to do the basic one by one ribbon. And the pitch is set to the center number three. And I'm going to set up the stitches. Since this is a bulky machine, we don't really have enough needles for 56 stitches when I do it one by one. So I'm going to break it into two pieces, the front and back and sew them up later. 56 stitches divided by two is 28 stitches. So I pick up 28 stitches every other needle from left 28 to right 27. And for the knitter, it will be in between. So you'll be one stitch less. Now we can start following the directions for one by one ribbon. First, we set up the tension to the lowest and the rest will be just for plain knitting. It shows zero on the book, but you can go even lower than that. And here is zero or the star. The star is even lower than zero. And I have this button set to number two you will make the edge a little bit tighter. Now we can thread the yarn and knead the first row. Use a clip below. Place the yarn in the carriage. The counter back to zero, 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 and knead our first row. That's our zigzag row. And we will hang our cast on comb. This one is long enough. So we will hang it from below. Now we'll hang some weight from below. We'll do three rows of the salvage row. And for that, we set the top and bottom to zero tension and press part button on the knitter on the left side and the right part button on the ribber. 
set tension to zero and uh, part button left side and part button the right side and then we we'll start knitting three rows after the three rows we can set to our normal tension I'm using tension two and cancel the part button hit the plain button to cancel the part button now we can continue knitting I changed the counter back to zero 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 and now I'm going to need 20 rows After 20 rows, I'm going to transfer all the stitches on the ribber back to the knitter and then bind off. I'm using the double eye hook and pick up the stitch, push down and transfer to the knitter. After transferring, you can just drop down the ribber and start binding off. So that's our first piece. I will need to knit four of the same piece for the sleeves so I can sew up the size. Next we'll do the ribbing for the button. For the button piece, I will keep it around the same as my sample, maybe a little bit longer. I will have 14 stitches on the top and 13 stitches on the ribber. And I will need it the same way for about 36 inches. After some steaming and blocking, this is the final look. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video.